Welcome to the weekly update with Churro Nissan for your week starting Monday, October the 1st. Okay, we are back in the studio this week. Uh, the studio also being my office. If you could see that way, you would see there's my desk. Big changes in the studio. We've, we've left the mountains behind and uh, we've now come back to uh, this. Big changes, the 1971 Datsun. Okay, on uh, this episode, first we'd like to welcome you to October. It's the month of Halloween. It's the month that all the leaves change color, although they're already starting to change. And uh, let's get right down to it. This episode, we have once again, cooking tips with Jason the Technician, who has some uh, tips that'll make you look like a pro over this fall season. And uh, Mo Dunn will spend a few minutes with us, helping us navigate through our small SUV lineup in uh, the Kicks, the Kashkai, and the Rogue. And uh, really, he's going to spend some time highlighting some of the differences uh, that perhaps if you're seeing this, you can start to sort of draw some conclusions as to which one might be right for you. And then uh, we'll follow up with some announcements in regards to a competition we're bringing back this year. And we'll uh, sort of recap some of the fun we had at the TNT show uh, last week at the Marigold. But first, let's start with everyone's favorite segment, cooking tips with Jason the Technician. And like I said, this week he's gonna provide you with some tips to help you get through this fall season and, uh, and look like a pro. My tip for this week, don't rush your turkey, let it rest. And also I'll give you some tips on my favorite stuffing and share it with you. On the horizon very soon, we have Thanksgiving. So that means family gatherings, turkey, stuffing, potatoes, all the works. Uh, one of the big things I found with turkeys is people don't let them rest long enough. Once you've cooked it, let it rest for a bit. Don't be in a rush to do anything with it. That way it'll stay nice and tender on the inside. And if I cook mine for three hours, I take it out, wrap it in tin foil, and let it rest for at least an hour and a half before I start carving it. So that way it really gets all the juices internally to just kind of sit, rest, and it, it makes for an awesomely carved turkey. And my other favorite Thanksgiving thing is stuffing. I love to make it. Um, I don't put mine inside of my turkey. I prefer to make mine separately. One of my favorites is uh, butter apple bacon stuffing. For that one, I would uh, I prefer to get a, a harder apple, like a Cortland or a Honeycrisp for the sweetness. I don't cut it up, I shred it with a shredder, almost like you do with the carrots and stuff like that. Then I saute it with onions and butter. If I'm cooking, I don't use margarine, I use natural things. So I use butter or oils. And when that's done, I will I buy bacon. I try and find a butcher or a local meat shop so you can get the really thick stuff and I'll cut that up really fine. And I'll saute that off as well. I save the fat and I mix that with the, uh, the apples and onions. You can use celery too, and I mix it all into the bread, season it up, and bake it. And if you really want to have some fun with it, as you're baking it, put layers of bacon on top, wrap it up, and put it in the oven. I honestly had no idea that after you cook your turkey, you can let it sit like that. I, I had no idea. Typically, we just take it out of the oven, cut it up and eat it. Thanks for that, Jason. Next up, we're going to talk Kicks, Kashkai, and Rogue with Mo Dunn. So we, we've noticed that often people come in looking for, uh, they, well, they don't really know what they're looking for. They say, uh, we like to compare the Kicks, the Kashkai, and the Rogue. So we've managed to isolate some of the sort of key features that differentiate the Kicks, the Kashkai, and the Rogue. And uh, Mo's gonna share those with you right now. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Morrissey Dunn with Truro Nissan. The three most popular vehicles that we have right now, the Kicks, the Kashkai and the Rogue. This is the Kicks, brand new to us here. And the differences between this and the Kashkai and the Rogue, this comes in front wheel drive. It's like your smaller vehicle. It's gonna be a smaller price. The features are a little different. Actually, it starts at about $17,998. So that is a, a sweet little place to start. What's that? And the Kicks would be perfect for those people that are used to driving and wanna drive front wheel drive. That would be somebody getting out of a small sedan. Do you like, you like this car? Now, we go up. Someone will say, now what's the difference between this and the Qashqai? Qashqai is a little bigger. And this is available in manual transmission, also available in all-wheel drive. So there's that. We still have people coming in looking for manual transmission. Well, this is it. We do have some in stock as well. So there's that difference. Beautiful car. Now, you want to go to the bigger cousin, of all of these two, it's the most popular vehicle that's on the road today, which is the Rogue. You can get your base model front wheel drive Rogue 
and you can go right up to the Rogue SL with your Pro Pilot, your all around view. This is the vehicle that steers itself. If you hear people talk about it generally, that's literally what it does. The nice thing is, no matter what you want, we have literally the widest selection of SUVs that are on the road today. This be Papa Bear, Mama Bear and Baby Bear, and the Porridge, we'll give the Porridge. I don't know. So yeah, as you can see, the Kicks is really that model where we've got people trading in Honda Civics and Toyota Corollas. Now it's time to move to an SUV because it's just easier to get into and you know, for all the reasons you go to an SUV, the Kicks is a great, uh, a great suggestion for, for people like that. And really with the front wheel drive, it's something that you're potentially used to. So really with a good set of snow tires, of which we have an abundance in our service department, if you remember last episode talking to Derek in our, in our service and parts department, uh, with a good set of winter tires and the front wheel drive and traction control, uh, you should have no problem. Then when we move to the Qashqai, it's our first uh, model with available all wheel drive, meaning our first one in the lineup. Uh, it's available in a manual transmission, which is almost unheard of. Plus the word Qashqai is actually just fun to say. So when you're at parties or at the grocery store, or perhaps you're at parent-teacher night, and they're like, oh, what do you drive? Because everybody always asks that. You can say Qashqai. Oh, I drive a Qashqai. It's a Qashqai. Qashqai, 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 Qashqai. Hopefully you like saying it. Qashqai. I like driving my Qashqai. Park my Qashqai. Oh, the Qashqai. Oh, my Qashqai is so dirty. And lastly is our most popular model out of everything we sell. The Rogue is awesome. Uh, and with Pro Pilot, steering wheel assist, and the intelligent cruise, you know, you can kind of relax a little bit while you're driving. Plus that Rogue is just jam-packed with features and available in front wheel or all wheel drive. Okay, and last but certainly not least, uh, last week we had the privilege of sponsoring the Taggart and Torn show here in Truro. Jeremy spent uh, two decades as the drummer for Canadian band Our Lady Peace and Jonathan spent uh, two decades as J-Rock in the Trailer Park Boys. So Taggart and Torrens basically started with a podcast of which they're now approaching four million downloads. Uh, that transitioned into a book, Canadianity, which last year was a bestseller. And they've taken their show on tour, plus they just signed a record deal, which uh, congratulations guys, that's really awesome. So yeah, we got to sponsor the show. Watching uh, Taggart on the drums was just awesome. Then there was a proposal. Uh, so congratulations to the lucky couple. She said yes, and uh, yeah, they managed to work that right into the into the whole thing. And, and uh, there was actually a proposal on stage, which was really cool. So we've had the opportunity uh, over the last year or so to actually work with uh, Jonathan Torrens. He was gracious enough last year to, to really work alongside us for our Hubtown ad challenge. So uh, we won't get into everything right now, but I will say officially that the Hubtown ad challenge is a go for this year. So this will be the second annual Hubtown ad challenge of which we have now seven companies that students in grade six to grade 12, as soon as the uh, contest period opens, uh, those students can uh, submit a basically a pitch for a 60 second commercial and one spot per business will be chosen to work with a film crew, an assistant producer, an editor. You're going to have the creative guidance from Jonathan Torrens and, uh, and basically you're going to get to direct your commercial and make your commercial. And then once those commercials are made, we'll put them out available for voting and we'll have some fantastic prizes. So last year we had uh, you know, over 70 entries. In our very first year, we had five companies. This year we're seven companies. Those seven companies are Patterson Sales and Service, G&G &G Computers, Stanfields, Mass Town Butcher and Creamery, Well Within Chiropractic, Conway Customs, and we have Colchester Phone Repair. The phone's actually broken right now, so uh, Steve and crew, I'll see you soon. So very shortly, we're gonna be making an announcement that the submission period will be open. We have a new website, which will launch here soon. We have a YouTube channel, which should be up very shortly. We have our Instagram account, Facebook account. We'll be on the radio. It was so much fun last year putting this competition on and it was amazing to see the submissions. We were really, really proud of everybody and everything that was submitted and the commercials turned out really well. So we can't wait to see what comes out of this year and keep an eye out for uh, announcements as we go. All right, so we're gonna uh, call it right there. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the, uh, the newest addition here to our studio, uh, this fantastic Datsun. Yeah, that's all I got. So welcome to October. We hope you have a fantastic week. We'll see you in seven days right here.